Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to review the July Boxy Charm and then I'm also going to preview the August Boxy Charm. So I want to tell you guys a little bit about the products that came in last month's box and then my thoughts and my opinions on those products. So the first product is the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Little Duo. So you do get two products in here. The first one is a matte and the other one is a glow. So this here is your matte shade and this one is your glow shade. I love both of these powders. I think they work really, really well. They remind me a lot of the Hourglass. They're not quite as soft as Hourglass. Hourglass, when you touch it, it's very, very soft. It's like, real, I don't know, it's just very soft to the touch. These are not quite as soft to the touch. The matte one feels a little more smoother, a little bit more softer than the actual glow one does. But on the skin, these look beautiful. They don't give off a, too much of a white cast or anything like that. The glow one just looks like that natural glow from within, kind of like Hourglass does. So I think this is an awesome product. I was really happy to get it inside of my BoxyCharm. This was like $32 value, I'm pretty sure. Let me check my little card here. This is, yeah, $32. So this is valued at $32, so you've already paid for your box. So I'm really happy to have this, and I'm going to continue to use it. It actually works for me as a setting powder, and then the um, glow side actually works really good as a highlight if you just want that everyday type of glow highlight. I love it. I think it's beautiful. The next thing is the Blink Electric Eyes Palette. I was going to say mascara because Blink does have a mascara. So here's what the actual palette looks like. The colors inside are gorgeous. They're very, very pretty and very pigmented. I'll go ahead and swatch these for you. Let me see. So the first one here is more of a copper shade, and then I'll swatch that. Look how beautiful the shades are. And then we've got the more burgundy cranberry shade. So there's the burgundy cranberry. And then we've got a like a um, rose gold. So there's the rose gold. And then we've got more of a just a regular golden. So there's that one. And then the last one is just a very light like champagne color. So there's all the colors. They all swatch beautifully. They wear on the eyes very pretty. I don't think this is like a an all-in-one palette. I don't think you can create a complete look using this palette. I typically can't just because I like to have my matte shadows to go up into the crease and things like that. But it will work to pop onto the lid or just to do like all over the lid, honestly. I just think it's really pretty. And this color right here works really good as a highlight too. The top one right here works really good as a highlight on my skin tone. So I just think it's a really nice palette. The, the, the colors themselves, I'm stuttering. The colors themselves are really beautiful. They're very nicely textured. They feel very almost soft and buttery to the touch. They remind me a little bit of... I don't know they just they're very soft to the touch they're very very good so i do think this is a really awesome palette and this was the value of 45 dollars. so would i pay 45 dollars for it no but i'm happy to have it in my boxy charm the next thing is the color pop this is the ultra satin lip these are very comfortable on the lips i'm so sick of the matte trend i think everybody's kind of getting sick of the matte trend i have a hair here i feel it and i can see it but i don't know where it is but anyway, this is in the shade Lock Diary. This color doesn't really suit me super well, but I did wear it and I was like, I'm just going to rock it anyway. So there's what it looks like. It's a very pretty color, but it's just a little too bold and bright for me. It looks like almost like a, um, like a watermelon strawberry shade. It definitely stains on your lips. It stains your hand. It stains everything. So it will be kind of long lasting, but I wouldn't say it's all day. Like you can't wear it all day, like an eight hour long lasting lipstick, like the Lip Senses. The Lip Senses last a very, very long time. So I don't think it's quite as long lasting as like a lip sense, but you're not paying quite as much either. So ColourPop is a very affordable brand, which I heard they're bringing them to Sephora. So I'm excited about that. So these are $6. So that's not a that bad price at all. So I would say the satin type of, sh is that what it's called? Ultra satin lips. I'd say they're comfortable. I just don't particularly care for the shade. So that's just a shade issue. The next thing is this little goodie we're right here, and this is called your unibrow, which I'm pretty sure they're not telling you to create a unibrow with it. Just kidding, I know they're not. So it does, it's a dual-ended little tool here. You get the one end that's like triangular tipped, and the other end has got your little spoolie on it. So this is actually pretty good, the spoolie, but as far as the color goes, I'm not really hip on the color of this, and I'm not really hip on how hard you have to kind of press these into your brows to actually get them to work. I don't think this is a really good brow tool. I will end up using it still. I'm not going to use it consistently because I don't think it's the best. The color is off a little bit. I think the color is a little greenish. And then not only that, I think it's just a little hard. It's a little hard to get onto your brow. I don't like a product where you're going to have to keep pulling and tugging and then eventually pull out your brow hairs that you have and you're left with just the pencil. So I don't particularly love this. So this is not something that I feel like is 
one of my favorite things on the box whatsoever. So if I had to rate it in order, this would be the least favorite. Actually, no. There's another thing in here that's my least favorite. This is the Project Beauty Spray Set Go little um, setting spray. It's a makeup setting spray. This stuff is like a water hose. <laughs> like this stuff is so powerful. When I first got it, I was like, no, it's not that bad. People are crazy. No, it really is that bad. You need to hold your hand away. Like you need to have your husband spray your face from the other room and then you'll be okay. Otherwise you're going to be like that. What's that little meme? I'll have to insert a picture. There's a meme that that's what this reminds me of. And I'm like, no way I'm going to use this. Uh, uh No way. I can't use this all over my face. I think it might be okay to use like I don't even know what you could use it for to be honest with you. The, the pressure that it pushes out the stuff, the actual setting spray, is just way too powerful. I feel like, I don't know, it's just way too powerful. It's It almost comes out like an aerosol can. It's just too much, too, too much on my face. And then I feel very wet all over and I'm like, then my makeup feels like it's gonna start running and then I'm gonna look terrible. So I'm like, no, I don't like that. So this is my least favorite thing. This would be my second least favorite thing. And then it would be the ColourPop lip, not because of the lip itself. I think it's a nice lip product, but the color itself. Then as far as my favorite, I'm going to say this is my favorite and then this would be runner up. So I think this is a really good box because of these two items alone. So I'm still really happy to get the box. Like I said, I think it's always worth $21, even if you get some products in there that don't exactly work for you. So now we're going to move on to the August box. So the August box looks like this. Of course, they have the same typical box every month. And then you open it up and it says Hello Charmer on the little lid right here. And this month I did get a sneak peek. Oops. I did get a sneak peek and I heard that we're all getting a Tarte palette. So I was very excited about that because I don't have that palette. Surprisingly enough, I don't have that one. So we got the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. So... I have the volume one and I didn't get the volume two. I'm pretty sure because the volume one didn't work so well for me because I feel like it accentuated wrinkles on my eyelids. So I'm hoping this one does not do that because that's not a good look. So here's what the colors do look like, look like inside. They are all, I think there's maybe one matte in here, maybe two. I'm not real sure. So I'm going to have to play with this and find out. So anyway, this is the palette we got and this is a pretty good value in itself. I think this is, let's see uh $36 so again you've already paid for your box and you get the palette so if it works out well for you then you're going to be really happy and if it doesn't work then not a big deal you pay $21 and you get all these other items that are going to be in here so now the next thing in here is some eyelashes so these are the pure ego pure not ego pure pro eyelashes these are 3d cruelty free luxe lashes and it says up to 30 wears you guys know i don't wear lashes so i'm actually just going to put these into a giveaway i'm not even going to try them so unfortunately i won't be able to review them for you guys i just i can't do lashes there i just no it's not my thing and then we do get a little coupon in here for tart you get ten dollars off of orders over 60 on the Tarte website and it's the code boxy august so if you're interested in picking up something from Tarte you can use that code the next thing is a little what is this a matte liquid lipstick so they give us a nice creamy one now we're going to get a matte one of course so this one is by the brand girl power no the beauty crop so this is by the brand the beauty crop and it looks like this the bottle the container itself is very very pretty it looks very luxe and let's swatch it. Let's see what color it is. Hopefully my hand's not super stained enough so you can't see. Oh, now see, I love this color. I wish the ColourPop one would have been this color. Look how pretty that is. That looks like almost like what I have on my lips today. So that's a perfect color for me. So I'm excited to try that out. It smells something. It smells a little powdery or something or vanilla-y. I don't know. I smell something in there. So there, it does have some sort of scent in that. Then the next thing we have in here is a little Bella Pierre. This is the Ebony, what is this, gel eyeliner. I've tried some things from Bella Pierre and honestly, most of the things I've tried from them weren't the best. So hopefully, the, whoops, hopefully this one will be good. I almost, oh my God, it's, it's not super creamy. It seems like it's gonna be a little drying. So we'll have to try it and find out though because that could be deceiving. It may just need to be warmed up on my skin. So I'll have to try that out. Let me tell you guys the prices of things. What did I do with the card? The um, the Pro Lashes are $14. The Girl Power Lip is $14.95. The Waterproof Gel Eyeliner is $15. So, I'm just, so far, I wouldn't pay $15 for that gel eyeliner. But And then the last thing in my box is a set of brushes. These are the Moda Pro Lash, uh, Brushes Lashes. And these are by the brand Royal and Langnickel, which Royal and Langnickel, I think is pre I'm pretty sure these Moda brushes are now sold at like Walmart. 
So if you're interested in picking up some brushes from the Moto line, you can get them there. So you do get three brushes in here. You get, sorry, it's really noisy. You get a pointed, pointed brush. Ooh, these feel really nice. Look how nice these look. They're very pretty. They're textured, the handle's textured, and they feel very heavy, and they don't smell weird or anything. Sometimes when you get brushes, they smell a little bit gross. These don't smell weird at all. It's super, super soft. Oh my gosh, I really love this little powder brush so far. Oh yes, that one's nice. Then we've got a, another one. This is called the chisel brush. So this one's more for contouring, which will be good for contouring and everything. It looks like that might be good for cream contour actually. And these are again, very, very heavy and the, the handle is the same as the other one. So it's nice and textured and feels very, feels kind of luxe. And then the last one you get is a crease brush, which you can never have too many crease brushes. So here's what the crease brush looks like. Again, I think these look really nice and this one feels uh, it's not super soft this one is but you don't want it to be super super soft not for a crease brush because you want to blend the shades out with that so these the value of the brushes are $26 so all in all I think so far we've got a pretty look, good looking box for August so I'm gonna have to try all these products out and then see how they actually work and everything like that and then I'll come back on here next month and then tell you guys my thoughts on these products so anyway I'd love to know if you get BoxyCharm too and what your thoughts are on your box this month. Did you get it? Did you get the eyeshadow palette? Are you super excited to have it? I can't believe I didn't have this. It's kind of weird. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll catch you guys later. <music>